The following program, The Russ Belleville Show, is intended for responsible adults only. We advocate to the repeal of marijuana prohibition for adults. We discuss the science, culture, and controversy about America's marijuana laws. We do not advocate any illegal activity and encourage all listeners to learn their state and federal marijuana laws. Opinions and claims made by guests and advertisers on The Russ Belleville Show are their own and the Russ Belleville Show cannot be held legally responsible for their validity or reliability. Viewer discretion is advised. You take a seed, you plant it, you grow it, you dry it, you roll it, you smoke it. You take a seed, you plant it, you grow it, you dry it, you roll it, you smoke it, and it goes down smooth. Hey! Spanning the continent to bring you the truth about cannabis and marijuana law reform. I smoke pot and I like it a lot. Yeah! From the promise of legalization. Uh, and I think that we need to rethink and decriminalize uh, our, uh, our marijuana laws. To the agony of prohibition. One major responsibility is to encourage people to use less drugs. The Rock Belleville Show, the voice of the marijuana nation. <laughs> I hear you. You had a question for me. Now, here's your host, Radical Russ Belleville. We love it. Good day, Tokers and Tokets, and welcome to the show. It is Monday, March 17th, 2014, and it's got to be 420 somewhere in the world. And where the hell am I? Oh, I'm in Rology Studios in beautiful Potland, Oregon. But just for today, I just got back from Seattle, Washington, the magical butter.com studios up there in Seattle, where we had the MJBA, Marijuana Business Association, Vendor Fair. It was a great time up there. And I just got back, just got off the train at 11 o'clock, so just four hours ago. So forgive me if the show's a little hurried and harried, but you know how we do it here. We're doing it live. So today, I'm going to bring you some highlights, as best I can, from the MJBA Vendor Fair up there in Seattle. Also, our buddy Gordon Green from Gordon Green's Music Planet has got some uh, highlights from Spanibus that's been taking place up out there in Barcelona, Spain. We'll be playing those highly highlights all week long. Like I said, just got off the train. All week long uh, here on the Russ Belleville Show in the uh, 45 after slot. Today at half past, of course, we'll be speaking with Dr. Mitch Earlywine, the chairman of the Normal Board of Directors and one of America's leading researchers on marijuana, culture, science, history, and health. We'll take your live calls at 971-533-7111. If you've got a question for the good doctor, and I've got a few saved up as well. Also on the show today, Bacon Dan will be calling in. He's going to give us a classic track from Jerry Rafferty for today's Roots Monday Daily Toker Tunes. And of course, we'll take things into Toker Talk Radio Hour 2. We'll all show you more highlights from the MJBA Vendor Fair out there in Seattle. Plus, I'm excited to announce a new arrangement with MagicalButter.com. We are arranging to have the Rust Belt show live in Seattle once a month. We're going to go up to Magical Butter Studios. They're going to set us up a studio there. They're going to set us up with a live studio audience. And once a month, we'll head up to Seattle to do some live shows from one of the two legal states in America. Really excited to do that. They've got some great facilities there and a great core staff that are helping to really push the growing truth about cannabis. All right, we got to take a break. I got to queue up some uh, video. And also coming up, we've got our 420 Radio headline news for today, which includes great news from the Obama administration on medical marijuana, great news from Iowa on medical marijuana, bad news for legalization in California, some questionable news in Alaska, and more from Maryland and Colorado. Stick around. We'll be right back after these messages from our 420 friendly sponsors. Support these advertisers because their ad money goes straight to the Russ Belleville Show. You're tuned into the Russ Belleville Show, the voice of the marijuana nation. Cast your eyes up to the skies. What is it to live and die? Hey, Tokers and Tokets, Radical Russ here to introduce you to my friend Matt and all the staff at Lush LED Lighting. Growing plants indoors can be a rewarding hobby, but electricity bills can go through the roof. 
Then you have to cool down all those big hot lights. It can drive a grower insane. Ah! With Lush LED lighting, you can solve many of these issues and double your rewards. If you thought LEDs were meet the tech of today, Matt and his scientists have developed the perfect light for flowering plants with far less cost and heat. And the results? Let's just say I appear at a lot of events with the masters of indoor horticulture, and the harvests I saw from Lush LED lighting were big, tight, sticky, and very effective. Check out LushLEDLighting.com right now and tell them Radical Russ sent you. Double your rewards and lower your expenses with Lush LED Lighting. You can get 420 Radio on the go with the Ustream video app for Android and iPhone. Go to rad-r.us slash 420 Ustream or just click the Ustream app icon for Android or iPhone below the live radio feed at 420radio.org. I'm Radical Russ Belville, and I want to thank you for listening to 420 Radio. We couldn't survive without you and our sponsors, and I'd like you to check out one of our prime sponsors, the National Cannabis Coalition. I've been working with NCC since June of 2012, and I'm proud to be part of the team they have assembled. National Cannabis Coalition is building the partnerships with reformers, lawmakers, and industry we need to be successful. Visit the National Cannabis Coalition website at nationalcannabiscoalition.com or the easier-to-remember ncc420.com. That's where you'll get the exclusive first look at my radical rants, as well as informative articles from the nation's top cannabis pundits. Visit ncc420.com today, and if you have your phone handy, text Russ to 42420 to support NCC and 420 Radio. It's a free text message that helps us help you end adult marijuana prohibition. Learn more at ncc420.com, and thanks for supporting Independent Marijuana Legalization Public Radio. This is your 420 Radio News for Monday, March 17, 2014. I'm Russ Belville. The Obama administration has approved a researcher's plan to study medical marijuana's effectiveness in treating post-traumatic stress. The Food and Drug Administration had already signed off on the study out of the University of Arizona. However, researchers had been stymied because the only legal supply of research marijuana comes from the federal government's cannabis farm at the University of Mississippi. The National Institute on Drug Abuse finally relented and granted permission for the farm to supply the Arizona study marking one of the few times NIDA has approved a study seeking to prove the benefits of medical cannabis. Researchers still need to secure the permission of the Drug Enforcement Administration to study this Schedule One drug. In its letter, the government cited, quote, significant changes, end quote, to the study design that led to its approval. Yet researchers said nothing about the changes affected the core design of the study. A new Quinnipiac University poll reveals overwhelming support for medical marijuana in Iowa. More than four out of five, or 81% of Iowans, support, quote, allowing adults in Iowa to legally use marijuana for medical purposes if their doctor prescribes it, end quote. Even the lowest supporting demographic, Republicans, support medical marijuana two to one, 68%. However, the poll still found a majority of 55% who oppose recreational marijuana legalization, with a near-equal majority of 54% who believe Colorado's legalization has been bad for its national image. Interestingly, though, if marijuana was legalized in Iowa, a majority of 57% wouldn't be bothered if, quote, one of their neighbors is growing marijuana in their home, end quote. Four out of five Iowans agree with the president that marijuana is no more harmful than alcohol, and Iowans are split 46% to 46% on whether use of marijuana leads a person to the use of harder drugs. 83% of Iowans would be uncomfortable riding in a car with a driver who has smoked pot. The so-called Jack Herer Initiative, the California Cannabis Hemp Initiative, is officially dead for legalizing marijuana in 2014. The California Secretary of State announced the CCHI campaign did not turn in enough signatures, leaving just the Marijuana Control Legalization and Revenue Act viable for the 2014 ballot. CCHI refiled paperwork to allow them to attempt to gather the more than half million signatures needed by April 18th, but they have less than $100,000 on hand for what would be a $3 million professional signature gathering effort. 
MCLR has gathered about 10,000 signatures and is also seeking, quote, a miracle, end quote, $3 million cash infusion to gather signatures. The Drug Policy Alliance, the national nonprofit with the millions needed to run a professional campaign, dropped out earlier this month, citing a better political outcome if they marshaled resources for a 2016 campaign. Ed Rosenthal, who filed an initiative to counter DPA's proposal, dropped his initiative when DPA dropped out. State agencies in Alaska are predicting costs of up to $7 million to regulate marijuana if it is legalized in August. The campaign to regulate marijuana like alcohol in Alaska's spokesman, Taylor Bickford, doubted the validity of the reports that were, quote, put together hastily by government bureaucrats who have a vested interest in arguing for bigger budgets and more money from Juno, end quote. Among cost claims of the impending legalization, hiring a new food safety inspector for the edibles industry at a cost of $137,000, hiring at least three new state troopers to, quote, target the illegal diversion and exportation of marijuana lawfully cultivated in Alaska, end quote, hiring a tax auditor, tax technician, and an investigator to process new marijuana taxes, and almost $1.5 million for training state troopers to recognize stone drivers and conducting Don't Drive Stoned media campaigns. The report fails to mention how much money would be raised from the proposed $50 an ounce excise tax and how much that would offset these imagined costs. Maryland legislators are looking to improve its ineffective research program on medical marijuana with a legitimate medical marijuana law. Today's Today, Maryland's House of Delegates will vote to allow certified physicians to recommend medical marijuana. Patients would access medicine from licensed growers and be allowed to possess an undefined 30-day supply. The House bill has 80 co-sponsors and is expected to pass in the Senate, where support is also strong. Another bill proposing marijuana legalization is expected to die, but the bill proposing decriminalization of 10 grams of marijuana passed the Maryland Senate 36 to 8 on Friday. Last year, the House killed a similar Senate-passed decriminalization bill. Prospects for this year's decriminalization bill are unclear. This has been your 420 Radio News for Monday, March 17th, 2014. I'm Russ Belville. Transcripts of 420 Radio News are available at our website at 420radio.org. When we come back, we will bring you exclusive video from the Marijuana Business Association Vendor Fair in Seattle this weekend. You're listening to the Russ Belville Show on 420radio.org. We'll be right back. The Law Offices of Omar Figueroa would like to remind you to stand up for your rights. Please do not give up your precious liberties. There's nothing wrong with standing up for our constitutional rights, and in fact, it's the best way to honor the Constitution that recognizes our natural rights. Treat law enforcement with respect and respect the Constitution by standing up for your rights. If you are detained or arrested, stand up for your rights by repeating, I respectfully invoke all of my legal and constitutional rights. I do not consent to any search and seizure. I want to remain silent, and I want to speak with my attorney, Omar Figueroa. Omar Figueroa has more than a decade of experience in federal and California courts and graduated from Yale University, Stanford Law School, and Trial Lawyers College. Please contact the law offices of Omar Figueroa at 415-489-0420 or 707-829-0215 or on the web at omarfigueroa.com. As marijuana goes mainstream, you need to be armed with the facts. Nobody can teach you better than Dr. Mitch Earlywine, Ph.D. You may know Dr. Mitch from his column in High Times Magazine or his weekly appearance on The Russ Belville Show. Dr. Mitch is also the author of some of the best books on marijuana science, culture, history, and health, including Understanding Marijuana, Parent's Guide to Marijuana, Pot Politics, and more. Visit Amazon.com and search for Mitch Earlywine, that's E-A-R-L-E-Y-W-I-N-E, and order your books today. You can also contact Dr. Mitch by email at 420research at gmail.com.
Hi, Tokers and Tokets. This is Radical Russ from 420radio.org and the Russ Belleville Show, encouraging you to check out the 420radio.org shop. All the items in the 420 Radio shop help pay the bills here at 420. Good day, Tokers and Tokets. Radical Russ here in Seattle, Washington at the headquarters of MagicalButter.com at the Magical Butter Studios. We'll swing around here. And it's this big green building that y'all see here at 2225 First Avenue South, I believe it is. We're having the uh, Marijuana Business Vendors Fair here. And the uh, vendors are just now getting to the event. You see here. The Road to Prosperity! We need you to lead the way. Join the Marijuana Business Association. Of course, the Magical Butter Limo is here. The Stretch Ford Excursion Limo. And further on down, we've got the original Cannabis. Offering Seattle event tours and so forth. Take a look here at the can bus as much as we can. This is uh, powered by the Green Door Seattle.com. Check them out. How you doing? Doing great. Good. I'm Russ. Radical, Radical Russ from 420 Radio, just How checking doing, out Russ? the uh, cannabis. Good, check it out. All right, cool. Check our way in. Carpeted, very nice. Hello, ladies. Hi, hi. How's it going? Very good, very good. You guys work with the cannabis? Yeah. Right, what do you do? What's your name? My name's Sasha. What's that? My name's Sasha. Sasha? Nicole. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So, how many uh, tours a day do you do on this thing? I mean, how busy does it get? This is my first time actually working on here. First time? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you really don't know yet. <laughs> I can see we got ourselves a, a display counter that is currently not stocked, and that's making me sad. Because we just got here. Well, that's no excuse, by God. There's so many people in the first place. <laughs> yeah, we, we usually do events. Yeah? Yeah, like we just started, um, we did a couple of the Seahawks, you know. Stuff. Yeah. You know, if, people you ever, if you ever want to go on a party. Yeah, you know, people must fun. freak out when they get on the bus and you know they're here in Seattle and it's all legal and of course you guys don't smoke on the bus, right? You can vaporize. You can vaporize. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So I know in uh, I've been in Colorado and Denver a bit and they've got the tours and you know it's just you can't, you can't smoke, but but vaporization's cool. Alright, so uh, what's the uh, contact for these guys? Do you know the um, website or anything? The original Cannabis.org, I believe, or .com. Okay, far out. Well, thanks so much. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for the tour. All right, so the original Cannabis in the house. Hey, Russ, I'm assuming you remember me. Yes, sir. How are you? Good, how are you? So good, good. Dave. Dave owns the bus from nice the Green Door. Nice to meet you, Dave. We want to extend the original invitation cannabis to come on. I will absolutely do that. Love to. Green Door. All right, let's check out the inside now. Portland, we'll take you around. Okay, okay. All right, there it's short and sweet. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into the studio now. Show you what's happening as everyone's setting up. Get some picture here by the door. All right, make our way in. Come on in. You find it? Yeah. All right, Thank man. You. So here we are at Magical Butter Studio, and this is the vendor fair. You can see the uh, setup so far. Marijuana Business Fair. Take a look around here just a little bit. Take a few stills. 
This is where we're set up for 420 radio. And the 420 radio banner. Uh, where is Fuzzy? IT guy. All right, so there you go. A little look at the Marijuana Business Association Fair. We're going to have some more video from that coming up in Hour 2 Toker Talk Radio, so stay tuned for that. But right now, it's uh, 20 after. Time for us to take our union-mandated break. Stick around. We got Bacon Dan calling in next with some Jerry Rafferty for your daily Toker tunes. If he said he swam to China, he would sell you South Carolina. Then you know you're talking to that reefer man. You know Herb Thrasher from the Herb Thrasher Flower Hour. Now get ready for Herb Age Designs for the proud cannabis consumer. Herb Age Designs. Lifestyle gear for the 420 friendly. Herb Age Designs, home of the famous lighter leash. Herb Age Designs, get your Herb Age t-shirts and hoodies and show your pride. Herb Age Designs, we've got frisbee golf discs and durable hemp gear. Herb Age Designs, we've got shot glasses, drinking glasses, coffee mugs, and beer cozies. Check us out on Facebook and online at HerbAgeDesigns.com and follow Herb Age and Herb Thrasher on Twitter. We'll see you at this year's Hemp Fest. Crank it up. Everyone knows music and marijuana go together. So let's wind up our 20 after break with the Russ Belleville Show's Daily Toker Tunes, the best in pod safe 420 music from around the web. Today is Roots Monday, featuring the blues, country, folk, and jazz music that birthed the modern sounds we enjoy today. Now, sit back and enjoy your Daily Toker Tunes. All right, welcome back, everybody. 22 and a half past, and that means it's time for us to talk to Bacon Dan. We got Bacon on the screen, we got Bacon on the phone. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing great, Ross, on this very surprisingly sunny afternoon here in beautiful Portland, Oregon. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I saw, you know, on my uh, feed that we got another tie with the Portland Timbers. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, it was a good game. You know, it wasn't as good as the home opener, but uh, I would prefer a win. But hey, a tie is always better than a loss. That's right. That's right. Looking forward to that season. And I understand tonight the uh, the Portland Thunder debut in the Arena Football League. Have you got any plans to follow them? I do, in fact. Uh, we made a connection through the Ed Foreman show. We actually got to meet the coach of the Portland Thunder, and we'll be attending a home game and filming it uh, relatively soon. Uh, Ed's coming back tonight from South by Southwest, where he had a, another successful run down there. And so we got the, you know, the Thunder are debuting tonight. And also tonight in Portland, we're doing a send-off to one of Portland's most beloved people, a uh, famous one-armed guitar street player known as Lefty, who passed away here in Portland last week. So tonight at Dante's, it'll be a send-off to Lefty like only Portland can do. Right on, man. Well, glad to hear that you're part of this. You're so plugged into the Portland scene in such a short time. I mean, i got to turn to you for all my Portland news. I've lived here for a decade. Yeah, it's funny. I had people every day are just surprised I've only been here for a year just because of how much I am into the Portland scene, but it's just this is my home. Yeah. I don't know how much we need to say about today's tune. It's one of my favorite all time classic rock songs, but you go ahead and give us an intro. All right. Well this I'm glad it's one of your favorites. It's one of my favorites too. I always chalk this up to one of those songs where you know the song but you'll I don't know who the hell does that or what the name of it is. So today from Scotland we have Jerry Rafferty with Baker Street, with one of the most famous saxophone lines pretty much ever. I was growing up as a sax player. I would always try to do that, but you can't really make that kind of sound on a baritone sax, yeah. so it always sounds <laughs> a little bit weird. Right but, on. Well, let's get to it. This is Jerry Rafferty. You know the song. You just didn't know that it was called Baker Street, and you didn't know it was by Jerry Rafferty. So enjoy this. Thanks, Bacon Dan. 
Thank you, Rob. Take it easy.
support the Russ Belleville Show. Text the word Russ to 420-420 and connect with the National Cannabis Coalition. You can also send 10 bucks to the Russ Belleville Show right from your smartphone. That's Russ to 420-420. You're listening to Radical Russ on the Russ Belleville Show. Darling, your mud still fails. Little red coffee. You need a love that's gonna lay. This is Radical Russ encouraging you to take a look at the Weed Blog every day. Johnny Green and the staff at the Weed Blog are on top of all the latest developments in the fight to end marijuana prohibition nationwide. You can even get the Weed Blog on your smartphone by installing the Weed Blog app for iPhone and Android. If it's about weed, it's on the Weed Blog, including my original writing. So don't delay. Read the Weed Blog today. It's time for the Russ Belleville Show's Cannabis Q&A with Dr. Mitch Earlywine. Dr. Earlywine is a professor of psychology at the State University of New York at Albany and a leading author and researcher on cannabinoids and health who pins the Ask Dr. Mitch column for High Times Magazine. Get your questions ready in our live chat or call in to 971-533-7111 now. All right, welcome everybody to our Cannabis Q&A segment with Dr. Mitch Earlywine. We're dialing out to Dr. Mitch right now to get him on the line and answer your live cannabis questions at 971-533-7111 or you can send them in by email to 420research at gmail.com. Although, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get a pickup here. We're having uh, some difficulties in the dial, so let's see what happens. And yeah, not, it's busy right at the moment. Well, that's quite interesting. Let me get to a study, though, that I wanted to ask Dr. Mitch about, and we will try to reach him as I'm bringing you this study information. And it was a good news for once, uh, a study coming out that says marijuana users have better cognitive skills. And uh, we'll ask Dr. Mitch about this as soon as we can get him on the line. But just reading from the abstract here, a new study on college students has linked marijuana use with better performance on certain brain-related tasks. Despite popular belief, new findings from a team at the University of Minnesota suggest marijuana use at an early age may not be that detrimental to cognitive function. The researchers noted, quote, Marijuana users were high-functioning, demonstrating comparable IQs to controls and relatively better processing speed, end quote. Now, this was uh, presented in the March 12th Journal of Clinical and Experimental Neuropsychology. They found that college students who used marijuana scored better on tests of processing speed and verbal fluency. This was a comparative study of 35 non-users versus 35 daily marijuana users who all began using marijuana before the age of 17. The researchers note that before the age of 17, that marijuana use during this age span has been most strongly associated with cognitive impairment. Everyone they studied was between the ages of 18 and 20 years old, and they didn't use any marijuana for at least 12 hours before the study. No significant differences in tests of working memory, no significant differences in tests of verbal learning. However, marijuana users did score slightly lower on tests of motivated decision-making, engagement, and verbal memory. Overall, the team concludes that the study provides, quote, a comprehensive cognitive profile of college-aged daily marijuana users, end quote. But they also warn the results suggest a few discrete impairments associated with marijuana use. Of course, none of this would be even close to the so-called eight point IQ drop that we are supposed to believe happens if someone uses marijuana before the age of 17. It just isn't so. All right, I'm going to turn to some of the video from the marijuana vendor fair since unfortunately we're unable to raise Dr. Mitch on the phone, but join us next week and we'll get Dr. Mitch on the line to answer your live cannabis questions. This is the Marijuana Business Association vendor fair day one with Dave from Marijuana Business Association and Jeremy and Mercedes from MagicalButter.com. <laughs> 
success of Magical Butter Machine, yes. and uh, we realize that it's been sold out for some time. So, you know, we've been wondering, with the marketplace exploding, what is in store for the future of Magical Butter? Well, interesting you ask. Um, you know, Magical Butter is actually a kind of a special type of company. We're a public benefits firm. Really? And a lot of people don't know that about Magical Butter. I didn't know that. And uh, one of the cool things about Magical Butter is we donate 25% of all of our profits back to the community. I don't know if you knew that. That's fantastic. Like, tell me, how, do you, uh, how, how are you benefiting the local cannabis community? Well, cannabis. as of right now, our, our newest venture in the cannabis community, which we're really excited about, and a lot of people don't know, a lot of people see me with the green hair running around in a limo, and they think, you're kind of a crazy guy. Yeah, just this crazy guy. Oh, wow. Well, party crazy. I'm, I'm actually a little bit of a nerd, too. And, and uh, I am actually setting up the first open source laboratory here in Washington. You're kidding me. Uh, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna actually set it up downstairs. We're really excited. We're gonna do free laboratory testing. We're going to do a uh, uh, gas chromatograph. We're gonna do uh, a gas. Uh, uh, so say that again. What, what gas chromatograph. I think that's the right word, right? Okay, and what do we so, do? And a mass spectrometer as well. And then we just bought one of these, uh, leave it up um, these crazy freezers that um, we probably, <laughs> I always say, well, it can freeze a cat a minute. So, but you know, which, which comes very handy in right. our industry, especially in the Chinese industry as well. Chinese infused, no, oh, oh, bad joke, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. You know, gotta be a little corny. So, I'm really excited to actually say that we're gonna actually start doing that, and we're gonna do. Inter and when is that, Jeremy? Um, we will have that done in approximately six weeks here at the Magical Butter Studio. Right, but we have another project instead. We started the sandwich shop. Uh, ah, right. So sandwich stands for savory, what is it? Savory access accessible marijuana infused um, culinary happiness. That's easy for you to say. I know, I try, I try. I want to try to get it down a little smoother, you know, so I can just go like, oh. cut the head off. And, so we're gonna start the first four to five star, we're gonna have to get a rating, you know, four to five star mobile restaurants. So, like a Michelin for marijuana. Uh, sure, Michelin no, no, if we're gonna pull up, we're gonna tweak it up, give you a tune up, and bam, you're out the door. Fantastic. But the whole idea is we're actually gonna have servers, we're actually going to bring in real linens, real dining room tables, do an awning system, and we're going to actually do orders, so it's going to be like a food truck, but it's gourmet, and I love gourmet food, as you know, and... Um, and it's all made with the Magical Butter it's Machine. It's made with the Magical Butter Machine, that's right. And you know, a lot of people go, well, oh, you can make cannabis butter in it, and you can make this and this and that. But we actually make real food in it. I make a, a jalapeno butternut squash soup, for example. It's quite delicious. And we're gonna, we're gonna sample and do some demonstrations, some cooking demonstrations. We're gonna have some food for everybody to try using products made from the Magical Butter Machine. Absolutely, no, we're not gonna do infused today. Not infused. We're doing not infused. So uh, if you look back there at the Magical Butter uh, bar, you're gonna see a young lady in pink. That's our newest chef, that's short and sweet. She's got a new series that's gonna be coming out pretty soon. And she is actually whipping up some goodies for us. So wave over there, little chef. What's short up? and sweet. Short yeah. and sweet. And you know why we chose short and sweet? Because she's full of sass. S-A-S, and she's, she's absolutely wonderful. And what she, does that stand for? Short and sweet. Huh? Sass. So yeah. So um, she's actually whipping up in um, a, an all-natural olive oil. She's doing a roasted garlic. We're gonna roast the garlic in the Magical Butter Machine. And we're gonna do that here. Right now. As a matter of fact, she's doing it right this minute. So if somebody wanted to try that, for example, where would they go? Well, they're gonna go to the Magical Butter booth. Which is right in the back. It is. And we've got fresh breads and all the different kinds of stuff and dipping and all the different kinds of goodies. Wonderful. So you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna turn the mic over to um, a young lady who we stole away from the, um, what industry did we steal you away from? The activism industry, the activism aspect of cannabis. We needed that, that balance. Well, she's still here. an activist. Oh, she's, she's definitely an activist. Still an activist. Come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mom. This is our magical operations manager. This is Mercedes McKnight, everybody. She, uh, 
She's been a total champ and uh, out throughout this build out. Thank you so much, Sam, man. Such a pleasure to be here with you. You know, um, so how you doing, Mom? I'm incredible. It has been quite the journey. So um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your insanity of a job that you have here at Magical Butter? Well, basically my job is managing everything that goes on around here. And if you've ever spent more than 15 minutes with head chef Jeremy Cooper, <laughs> you know that what goes on changes rapidly and we like to pack it full to create some magic each and every day. You know, it's, it's kind of funny because one day I'll go, hey, Mercedes, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to create a new extraction process with a negative 429 degree below zero cryogenic chamber with an electrostatic and ultrasonic system like nobody's ever seen in their entire life. And we're going to make it and we're going to help make meds for people and we're going to give them away for free. And you say... By when? By tomorrow. Duh. We have an open slot. I've only got appointments in the morning. Awesome. So uh, we kind of we kind of have this ongoing story with Magical Butter. We, you know, we we bought we uh, we got into this place and it was built out with shelves ten feet tall, all the way out into the middle. There was machinery and all that kind of stuff. And there was actually almost an inch of dust on the floor. And keep in mind, this was shortly after Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is after Thanksgiving. This is about three days after Thanksgiving. And I said, you know, what we're gonna do. We're gonna open for New Year's. And, uh, yeah. and then about 10 days later I met you That's and right. you said you were opening a cannabis museum by That's the years. Right. And See, I... Go ahead, please. I went, wow, and canceled the vacation because I understood once I saw this building, if it was going to get done, it was going to take a lot of hands and a lot of hours. And since then I haven't quite stopped. Have you left yet? Not this way, right? <laughs> I went and saw my mom a couple weeks ago just to make sure she knew I was alive, but that's about it. You know, at Magical Butter Studios, our whole idea is to create a transition between two worlds. And uh, it's been really interesting. Um, I actually came from the non-cannabis world, and uh, coming here to Washington is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. It's inspiring to see activists like yourself and other activists in the community who have forged ahead for the past, what, 50, 60 years to legalize cannabis, and now we're at the forefront of a point in history that's amazing. So, I, I mean, um, I, I can't say how humbled I am to be in this and just how excited at the same time. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to actually turn the mic over to Mercedes McKnight, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on at Magic Butter Studios, how we all work here, and how you, too, might be able to get involved in the insanity that is the rabbit hole of Magical Butter. Go ahead, Mercedes. Thank you, Chef. I want to first start out by thanking all the beautiful people who came together to make this happen. If I told, if I could show you a picture of this place three days ago, you would be absolutely shocked. I'm still a little bit shocked standing here looking at everything we've accomplished. And I really, it's an honor and a pleasure to work with all of you. Our goal at Magical Butter Studios is to, to create a place that can meet the needs of the cannabis community, to help you in whatever you need to be successful. This is the first of many events that hopefully will help your business grow, help you meet the people you need, and help teach you new facts. I have been working like crazy helping this build process and pulling my hair out because... Mercedes McKnight with Magical Butter Studios in Seattle. We'll hear more from her in Hour 2 Toker Talk Radio all throughout this week as we bring you more highlights from the Marijuana Business Association Vendor Fair in Seattle. When we come back, Gordon Green and coverage from Spanibus. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages from our 420 friendly sponsors. Support these advertisers because their ad money goes straight to the Russ Belleville Show. of the Marijuana Nation.
420 Radio is 24-hour marijuana legalization radio. It was an awesome weekend at Spanabas 2014 here in Barcelona, Spain. More than 30,000 attendees over three days. Hundreds of retailers, wholesalers, nonprofit organizations, self employed artisans, you name it. It was at Spanabas 2014 in Barcelona. And I've got all the coverage for you every day this week on Russ Belleville Show and 420radio.org. To start things off, Spanabas is an annual trade show where manufacturers and distributors can introduce their products to the retail market, but many of them at the same time are offering their products for retail sale. So lighting manufacturers, nutrient companies, seed banks show and sell their products side by side. And I asked one of the American companies uh, showing products at Spandibus this year, Magic Flight Launchbox, the difference between shows in the States and Spandibus. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from?
major difference um, between the launch box and the Mod D. The launch box, um, the battery doesn't hold its charge as long because you're drying it differently, where this, this one, it, you can use it up to 50 times. 50. 50. 5-0. You can take 50 individual awesome. dabs yeah. battery. So, if people, because I know of a couple of people who, that was their problem with. That's always that been our number one complaint about batteries. And when we do education, teach people how to use their batteries properly, they're still getting about three to four bowls, but it definitely doesn't compare to the 50 dabs that you're going to get. Awesome. So what's the website people can find out more about the, what's it called again? The Mod Deep. The Mod Deep. It's uh, magic-flight.com. Magic Thank you for joining me today. It's Phantomous Week. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Thank us. you. We will be back with Phantomous 2014 on the West Belleville Show, 420radio.org after this. And that was a very impressive new gadget from Magic Flight, the Mod D. I suggest you check it out at magic-flight.com. Another thing I did uh, day one was I sat down with one of the greatest authors and cult- cannabis personalities in the world, Ed Rosenthal, and his, his beautiful wife, Jane. Here's what they had to say. It's Gordon Green here live, uh, recorded live in uh, Span of His Week on 420 Radio. I'm here with the great grower and author, Ed Rosenthal. Ed, I've just watched uh, or listened to a great presentation you gave uh, on growing here at the Spanibus. Uh, it's your third or fourth time here. What do you think about the, the attendance this year? I think the attendance is really good. I think it's going to be gigantic tomorrow. Today's Friday. Uh, and uh, I think they do a great job and they show a lot of respect for both the vendors and the uh, everybody who's here. Yeah, it's really, it's kind of unique because it, it, it's a trade show, which usually are restricted to, to businesses or retail, but this this uh, takes from all corners of retail, of consumers, of uh, authors, people like yourself. Yes, this is a great mix of uh, people who all have an interest in marijuana. And I want to ask you, um, Several states have initiatives on the ballots or will be voting in the United States to legalize either recreational or medicinal marijuana this year. What are your personal predictions for for the coming year of marijuana reform? I think that our Oregon is going to win. I don't know what other states actually are on the ballot right now. I think right now uh, Florida has um, an initiative that has something like 72% uh, popularity. This is for medical marijuana in a very conservative state. Um, and leads me to my next question, basically, which is uh, yesterday a judge in Colorado ruled that because of the recent legalization in Colorado, several hundred court cases will be overturned for possession of marijuana in Colorado. How do you think that's going to affect the movement in other states and public opinion among Americans? I think more important is the interview that Obama gave in which he said that alcohol was more dangerous than marijuana. And based on that, I think that any judge who sentences anybody to any criminal penalty, whether it's a fine or whether it's prison, is a war criminal and ultimately should be brought before the Hague for crimes against humanity. And I'm serious about that. It's gone on for 70, for 80 years that a whole that many cultures have been under genocide by the federal government. And it's time for it to stop, and it's time for some repercussions to the people who brought this terrible thing to the United States, or who continue it. These people, they're let, you know, these people deserve to be punished for the criminal way in which
which they help people. All right. And Ed, uh, last question. What are your plans the rest of the weekend in span of us here? Enjoy, uh, enjoy the festivities and learn a lot and uh, talk with a lot of friends. How do you how do you find the the Spanish uh, cannabis here? Excellent. The people, uh, the growers here are, uh, are truly connoisseurs. Right on. Ed Rosenthal, author and expert grower, thank you very much for your time today. And we'll be back with more Spanibus Week on 420 Radio and the Russ Belleville Show after this. And I'm going to be here all week long on the Russ Belleville Show, 420 Radio with Spanibus 2014 from Barcelona, Spain. Tomorrow, I've got Leonardo from Portugal. He's got some comments about Spanibus 2014. I'm sitting down with Milo, the owner and operator of Big Buddha Seeds. He's got some new things to talk about. And you never know who you're going to run into at Spanibus. We're sitting down with Marijuana Man tomorrow on the Russ Billville Show in Spanibus 2014. I'm Gordon Green. We'll see you then. Great work there by Gordon Green. Attending Spanibus in Barcelona, Spain. He'll have all sorts of great guests for the rest of the week. We will also have more great video coming up next in Hour 2 Toker Talk Radio from the Marijuana Vendor Fair, Marijuana Business Association, MJBA. You can check them out on the web. Magical Butter Studios, MagicalButter.com, also helping to put that on as well as other fine presenting vendors you'll hear from throughout the week as we present more videos from the Vendor Fair. All right. Uh, also, a reminder, tomorrow I will be in the air. I am flying to Atlanta, Georgia, and I land one hour before the show starts. So I am going to tonight cook up a whole bunch of pre-record stuff to run for tomorrow's show that will include more videos from the marijuana fair that I was at this weekend. Also, uh, we'll bring you as much live as we can tomorrow from Atlanta. We'll hook in via the Skype or Ustream one way or the other, and we'll see what Brian can do to put us on the air. So we're doing it live tomorrow, and then Wednesday through Friday, live shows from Atlanta, Georgia. Saturday, culminating in the Southern Cannabis Reform Conference, which I will be taping and bringing you highlights of in the following week. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. For Brian the Red, I'm Radical Russ. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, take care of each other, tokers. This is the Russ Belleville Show. The Russ Belleville Show is blogging and podcasting daily at RadicalRuss.com. You're growing, you're giant, you're rolling, you're smoking. You take a seed, you plant it.